Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you are new here, hey welcome, I hope you'll consider subscribing and if you are back, welcome back. Today I am here with a reveal and post review of one of my recently completed diamond painting kits, one that was actually kind of highly requested that I try out this company in particular, so I'm excited to share it with you all today. Share, uh, I'll be sharing what I loved about the kit, if there were any challenges I had with the kit, and just generally give you a sense for what it would be like if you purchased a kit from this particular diamond painting company for yourself. So the kit that I have to share with you all and reveal today is... Scorpio Dragon. This is by the artist Parente Illustrations and is licensed and it was purchased. I purchased it from the shop, the one with the diamond art. So uh, there's the whole Zodiac Dragon series available from this artist at the one with the diamond art. Um, and I'm a Scorpio, so I got the Scorpio Dragon. <laughs> I was really drawn to the colors and thought that it would be really, really pretty. And I'm not generally scared of color blocking. So like this whole solid background, I was like, it'll be okay. I'll multi-place my way through it. Uh, more on that in just a bit though. Let me give you a quick breakdown of the stats or specs, I guess, on this particular kit. Uh, so this is in the size 50 by 70 centimeters. I believe that you have the option of choosing from a variety of different sizes. I'll have to go back and double check. I'll leave a note in the description below this video. Um, I believe you also have the choice between round shaped and square shaped diamonds and I picked round. That's generally my rule of thumb when I'm ordering from a new to me company is that I will usually start out with trying out one of their kits with round diamonds just because squares can be a little more temperamental or tricky to really get like excellent quality on. Um, and so that's just generally my default is to start out with trying out a kit with round diamonds first. And then if I'm happy with everything else about it um, and decide I wanna order again, then maybe try out squares after that. This had a total of 43 colors. And let's see, it had a total of three ABs, um, which were mostly just in a few select places in the dragon. I'll show you where those are in just a bit. Um, and yeah, so um, overall thoughts on this kit. Well, uh, just as far as some of the other uh, specs on this kit. This had poured glue and the canvas itself I think was like a soft lint material backing. I I liked the quality of the canvas. It didn't seem to have any issues with fraying. There were a couple little spots off to the side but that just looked like that was maybe a rough cut. It's not actually fraying even when I pull at it. Um, there was one spot here at the bottom that I ended up just literally covering with scotch tape where there was like some glue like a bunch of glue had gone past the edge of the drill field here and off to the side so I just covered that up so that I wouldn't keep sticking my hand in it and get a bunch of dirt and dust and everything. Um, I think that the drills, I think that they were acrylic, but I have a hard time telling the difference between resin and acrylic round drills, especially, but these just kind of felt and looked like acrylic to me. Um, I don't mind, honestly, especially when it comes to round diamonds, I'm really okay with either round or square, or sorry, either resin or acrylic. I just want high quality diamonds to work with. Uh, I had plenty left over in every color. Here, let me show you. Um, I kitted up in this Elizabeth Ward storage. This is my ride or die when it comes to storage containers. I love the Elizabeth Wards. But you can see like this 310, which is a black color that was the whole background. I had all three of these were completely full. And then there was this little container and then this one <laughs> completely full. Um, and you can see that I have like nearly a full medium sized container and nearly a full large size container left over in those 310 drills. There was a bit of trash in there. And um, that was one of the reasons also I thought they were acrylic because they weren't like totally, totally consistent in size. Um, sometimes you could see a little bit of extra plastic kind of pulled, pulled around the base like it hadn't been cut clean. Um, but so I don't know that I'll necessarily save these because I have a lot of these left um, just in my like spare drill storage uh, but I really appreciated that they gave me plenty in every single color I didn't run out 
Um, I didn't even come close to running out on any of them. Here were the three ABs. Now I'm gonna save these because I have a whole lot of these left over. So we had this really pretty true pink color and then a pale pink and then a really pretty purple. And I'll show you where those ended up on the canvas as well. But I really liked those AB colors and I'm definitely gonna save those. But yay, so glad that I had enough in every color left. And you can see the symbols. There was a mix of alphanumeric and then some just like non-alphanumeric symbols. One thing that did happen though was that I almost mixed up we had the letter Y and then this like Y symbol with the line through the middle. And that was such a faint line that sometimes on the canvas, it was hard to tell the difference between the two. So there was more than once that I accidentally placed the, the wrong drill. Um, and then it was like, oh shoot, I didn't look at that close enough. But that was the only, those were the only symbols that gave me a little bit of trouble. As far as where the ABs ended up, um, so we had some, there. there's not a ton. Let me see. See, now I'm gonna have trouble finding them. <laughs> so we have a couple of the light pink ABs in a couple of spots in the background. And there's, I think that, was that a white AB? No. Uh, there's a couple of the light pink AB here in some of the stars. The purple AB is scattered throughout. Like we have the actual Scorpio constellation that um, is kind of makes its shape throughout the dragon. And there's some of the purple AB dotted throughout there and some of the light pink AB as well. That darker pink AB, that's what I'm looking for that I'm feeling like I'm overlooking. <laughs> uh, some of the darker pink AB I'm seeing scattered in here as well. And then up in the dragon's face, there's a little bit of that dark pink. There's like a dark pink AB right there. There's a couple of the purple AB again in that constellation. And then some of the dark pink AB here in the dragon's wings and over here as well. So the ABs are really scattered and sparing in this kit. I almost wouldn't have minded seeing even more because I feel like ABs can pop really beautifully against a black background, but that's it's really okay. If I really wanted to, I could have gone in and blinged it up a bit myself. Um, but as far as what I thought of the kit overall, so other kind of things that I loved and maybe wasn't sure about. So. I overall, I like the rendering when I step back to a viewing distance. This is a 50 by 70. And given the level of detail in the artwork, especially given that like, yes, the canvas is 50 by 70, but the actual like dragon is still a much smaller area than that. Um, I think this is, I don't know, about probably what I would have expected from a 50 by 70. I maybe was hoping for just a tiny bit more detail, like maybe a little bit of clarity, like less confetti in the constellation so that it maybe stood out even more um, against the dragon itself. Um, I think that some of the color blending is really pretty. It has these gorgeous sunset colors. And like I said, especially back at a viewing distance or even through a camera lens, I think that it does blend and come together nicely. Um, maybe some more ABs like in the stars in the night sky would have been really pretty as well. But honestly, I was happy with, I think the number of colors was good. I thought a lot of things about the rendering was nice. Like you can still see like the cute little smirk on the dragon's face and whatnot. Um, and so, you know, I think that it does work. I was honestly, I was just sitting here a little earlier thinking, what would I say about the rendering? Um, and I was kind of waffling back and forth. So I'll just be transparent and tell you that I, I'm going back and forth a little bit on how I feel about the rendering, which I talk about rendering a lot in my post review videos because that tends to be the thing that I personally care about the most. It's the one thing that I can't change unless I really want to tackle recharting a kit myself. There you can see it, it's sideways, but it's all in frame. So you can see like the pretty floral accents here at the corners too. Um, I thought that the original artwork was really amazing. I love that there's the whole series available. I love that this is another new small shop in the community that offers legally licensed artwork. I am just ecstatic that we that we have so much available to us and it just widens um, the amount of artwork that hopefully appeals to just that many more people. Now, I do wanna to touch on a couple of things that were challenges for me about this kit. The main thing, which I am gonna send them a message just to give them a heads up, 
um, because I hope that this was just a fluke, but I am gonna mention it because especially if you watched my whip and chat a few weeks back, when you saw me working on this kit and the, the real struggle that I was having with the glue. So I actually managed to get a decent picture of this. Um, but what I noticed was that there were areas of the canvas that the glue was very slippery and not very sticky. I found that like I couldn't almost get the diamonds to come off of my pen. And those areas seem to be mostly focused towards like the bottom fourth of the canvas and areas of the top fourth of the canvas. Almost like the glue hadn't, I don't know, settled or been laid like really evenly because then there were areas in the middle that were perfectly sticky and I had zero issues with. So I did manage to get a picture when I was looking at the top and I was like, ooh, the way the light is hitting this is really illustrating the difference. You can actually see the transition from like, here's where the glue is problematic to here's where the glue is fine. So I'll put that picture up so you can actually visually see what I'm talking about. And like I said, I'm gonna let the company know. I'm not upset, this was just me trying out a new company's product. And um, I just wanna give them that feedback so that they're aware and hopefully this is not a common issue. And um, if I have any specific updates to post about how they respond or anything customer service related, I will add that to the description below this video. Uh, but I just really wanted to give you guys a completely authentic and honest um, review up front so you can hear completely what my experience was. I did buy this kit myself. I was not sent this kit for promotion and I actually really like when I can do that because I like to think that when I'm buying a kit just myself, just as me, that hopefully I'm really getting as close to the experience that you would have buying from a company um, and not getting any sort of like special treatment that I, I do sometimes worry <laughs> that comes with being sent a promotional kit directly. So um, I will say, now this is a totally personal preference thing. So take it with this grain of salt, please. I will say that before I worked on this kit, I thought I really don't mind color blocking. I actually love when there's oodles of color blocking because I feel like I can just blitz through a kit. Um, this kit had me reevaluating that because there was just so much color blocking. Like over a half of this kit was a color blocked 310 background broken up just by a couple of dots here and there of like white or gray drills that were stars in the background. So I think part of it was my frustration with the glue made it really difficult to multi-place in some of those areas. Um, but it was just a whole lot of black background and I was just feeling a bit fatigued from that by the time I was, I mean, even halfway through this kit, I was just like, I feel like this kit is taking me forever. Um, I just really wanna have like some really pretty colors going on here. Uh, but again, that's gonna be really subjective. You may adore color block and be like, give me all the color blocking <laughs> or you may be like I need pure confetti and if there's too much color blocking or even a hint of color blocking I don't want anything to do with it I think that you're gonna have to look at the artwork when you're looking at what the the one with the diamond art has to offer look at the artwork and that'll really give you a sense for <laughs> if there's gonna be color blocking or confetti obviously in a piece like this where literally you can see in the art, original artwork it's a black background it's gonna be color blocking I will say that in the areas like with the dragon where I had more colors and lots of color changes, this was decently confetti heavy. Um, so I'm guessing maybe computer rendered images, especially since they offer multiple sizes and you can pick between square and round drills. Often that means that the images are gonna be computer rendered. It's not a bad thing, just a, an FYI. When you have something that's computer rendered, it's more likely to have more confetti. It's gonna be really, really, really close to the original artwork is how it's generally interpreted when it's computer rendered. So. Um, don't take that as gospel truth. That's just my guess. I'm just giving you guys my my like educated guesses here. <laughs> so anyway, I what are my overall thoughts? Would I buy from this company again? Um, I think so. I'm gonna see how they respond when I reach out to them and let them know about the hiccup that I ran into with the glue. Um, I would maybe try out their squares, but I think that I would probably go and try to find if anyone else has worked on one of their kits with squares and find out if they're acrylic or resin. If they're acrylic, I might steer clear. 
um, and just stick with round kits from this company. But they had a lot of artwork from artists that I like. And so I think that I'll just try to be really intentional and um, really think it through when I'm choosing which artwork I want to work on. And um, making sure that I'm picking a size that will do that artwork justice and know what I'm getting into. <laughs> so all that being said, it's a it's a yes for me. I probably will order from them again, but I'm going to do some things differently. And it is going to depend on how they respond when I ask about the glue, because I really hope that was a one off. This was the only kit that I purchased uh, to try it out. So We'll see, stay tuned. I would love to hear from you guys though. Have you ordered from and or worked on a kit from the one with the diamond art? What was your experience like? I would love to hear what your thoughts are because I'm just one person and it is totally possible that you have different priorities than me or that you had a different experience than I did and I wanna hear it all. So feel free to share those thoughts down in the comments. And if you haven't worked on a kit from them before, what are your thoughts after seeing this particular kit completed? Um, do you think you're gonna go give them a try or are you gonna maybe wait and see? Definitely go see the artwork that they have to offer. Like I said, they have a really lovely variety variety and have signed some really wonderful artists. So go and take a look. I think that you'll probably find something that appeals to you. Uh, so just a quick recap, this was Scorpio Dragon. The artist for this was Parente Illustration, who I'll link to their Instagram below. Go and check them out. This is from the one with the diamond art, 50 by 70 centimeters, round diamonds, 43 colors. And this was Scorpio Dragon for Scorpio season. I love dragons and I'm a Scorpio, so how could I turn this one down? <laughs> anyway, my friends, thanks for watching this reveal and post review. I really hope that it was helpful in giving you a sense for not only what this kit looks like completed, but uh, what it might be like to uh, purchase from this particular company. So let me know your thoughts down below. I would love to hear it. And if you're not already subscribed and wanna see lots more diamond painting content from me, I would love to have you as part of my little community here. Please subscribe, there's a button just down here. And I would, yeah, love to get to know you more. So have an amazing rest of your day, my friends. I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.